What's going on, YouTube? This is NecroStevo, and we are back with a passerby battle. Uh, kind of just running a really weird mixed team. And guys, this is just one of those battles where it was a learning experience. I think I had this battle right when I was about to go to bed, too, so just not a great time to battle. But I just wanted to try out some things. That was the main reason I was just online looking for passerbys. Um, Starting off with Mega Aerodactyl, I was really hoping that he had a specially defensive Hippowdon, because that has been a little bit more popular as of late. And seeing that damage, that's just pathetic. Like just that's that's a three hit KO. He probably has slack off. So there's there's no way I can beat him one on one with Mega Aerodactyl. Um, and he might even have a rock type move in there. I switch out here knowing that my Excadrill is on a balloon. That way, if he's going for Earthquake, predicting a switch into something else, perhaps, uh, I can dodge that. But he surprises me with Yawn, and I really didn't want to shuffle my team around too much with my Pokemon getting hit by Yawn and taking Stealth Rock damage. So I actually just end up staying in um, as he brings in his Garchomp. And I just wanted to put up my own Stealth Rocks, just at the very least to pressure him in switching scenarios, too. Now with Garchomp in here, I figured it was Mega Garchomp, and if it is Mega Garchomp, it probably has the fire type move. So we're just going to stay and try to burn a turn of sleep. I know he can hit me with Earthquake. Uh, and so here he's forced to go for Rock Slide. And of course that doesn't do very much damage, so I might wake up, wake up, wake up, but I don't wake up. So now I was like, Ugh, does he have the fire type move? Probably. We're going to go out into Spikerton expecting the dragon type move, hopefully expecting a switch of some sort. I don't know. That was really a not a great... Um, switch there just in case he did have the fire type move and since he went for earthquake there I didn't think that he had the fire type move so I'm staying in here with chestnut uh, fully physically defensive and he has flamethrower and he didn't use it on the switch and that almost KOs me clearly he's more invested in attack uh, but that was a very good uh, card for him to hold back like that because I would not have switched in my chestnut if I had knew that he if I had known that he had flamethrower like that I would have figured that he would have used it on Excadrill if he had it but this is an opportunity to get back some of my HP uh, if I can just get up to a decent range then I can switch out or maybe predict him to predict me to switch and just stay in and maybe drain punch him or set up some spikes I get back up to half from 26 HP so that's certainly not bad but then he just goes straight for Draco Meteor I was really hoping that he would go for um, uh, either Earthquake or Rock Slide again expecting me to switch because it was that switch was really obvious I could have easily switched out to something else but Draco Meteor takes me out which meant all that stalling was kind of pointless uh, here I go out into Aerodactyl to make him think that I have Ice Fang uh, he goes into Clefable which is probably max HP max defense Aerial Ace again it just doesn't really do any damage uh, in terms of yes it does damage but when I need two hit KOs and I'm doing three and four hit KOs with a Mega Pokemon that's fully invested in an attack with Tough Claws it's just really underwhelming. Um, and and yeah, Mega Aerodactyl has parts of his body turned to stone when he Mega Evolves, but that's just not doing anything. So here, um, I don't have Earthquake, so I end up going for Fire Fang. I miraculously get the flinch, because he definitely would have KO'd me if he had gone for the Electric type move, or even the Flash Cannon. Uh, so I'm able to finish him off there, and he goes into Garchomp. I'm just expecting a rock slide from him. So I just go for Aerial Ace just to put some damage on and make him easier to KO. And he actually misses, and I felt really crappy about that at the time. So I just go for a Fire Fang because I know that that won't KO, giving him a chance to take on my Aerodactyl, and he misses again. So I went for a Stone Edge triggering that I'd probably miss that, and even if I didn't miss, it probably wouldn't KO, because at that point I was afraid of flinching him. But I actually ended up taking him out with the Stone Edge, so I actually tried to sacrifice Aerodactyl there to even up the hacks, which this is just a fun match, it's just a passerby battle. So, I, I like to have more fun with those. Uh, but it doesn't really matter because he has Sandrush Excadrill in the back. And as long as he has that, I am kind of in a bind. Um, once again, I just wanted to put some damage on to his Hippowdon. I thought he might switch out to his Cradle Lee, expecting Aqua Tail. And that actually works out because Cradle Lee gets critical hit by the second Aerial Ace. So, my opponent is just kind of getting the bad end of hacks here. But like I said, he does have Darude. He does have Sandstorm. And I, I can't play the song here, otherwise I would get a copyright strike. But it'll it'll be very appropriate here to just have the music playing. Because Darude is boosted by Sand Rush, and he just gets to kind of blow through my team for a couple of turns. Um, I think after Drapion here, he's going to have 
two turns left, two or three turns left. And I have Life Orb for Alligator boosted uh, with Sheer Force, of course. And I actually have my Adamant one, so I have access to Aqua Jet on that one. But Excadrill has high enough HP that I don't think it will be enough to KO it. And unfortunately for me, I actually underestimate my own um, for Alligator after the Sandstorm subsides because I did not think that I could take an Earthquake from Excadrill. And for Alligator is actually pretty bulky too, so I I just underestimate my own Pokemon and I overestimated Aerodactyl in this battle. It was just good to get an idea of their ability, but I do manage to live Earthquake, which is just awesome. I didn't expect that at all, but that's unfortunate that that happened because I definitely could have used Swords Dance right there to uh, make sure that I could take out the Hippowdon on this turn. Because now I'm forced to go for Ice Punch, that's my strongest move, I don't have Waterfall on this one because I have Aqua Jet and I normally get a Swords Dance up. So Ice Punch is my strongest move and I am just so, so very close to finishing it off. Granted, uh, I hexed him out of two or three of his Pokemon, so them's the breaks because uh, hacks plays no favorites and the game doesn't owe you anything and it doesn't you you aren't gonna get anything necessarily so I'm not surprised that I didn't get that KO there especially since Aerodactyl did so little damage and here I really needed a burn uh, Entei is my last Pokemon so I went for Sacred Fire this is Bandit hoping for the burn 50% chance and I do not get it which means that Earthquake will be enough to finish me off uh, at the end of this match so I did enjoy the match despite the crazy hacks I learned a lot about my Pokemon and their potential but uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the battle if nothing else i hope it was entertaining and guys have a wonderful day bye bye now